Hello and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Rogner Hagen. Our top story, a man sent to Kelowna General Hospital is in a coma after he was struck by a vehicle believed to be part of a high-speed police chase. The man was delivering newspapers when he was hit. Shocked at first. You know, it's the first time in all the years I've been doing this for many years. And it's the first accident of that type, you know, that drastic, you know, that uh, I'm not sure of the, you know, severity of his injuries, but I understand that, you know, that he got hit fairly hard and, you know, so we're wishing him the best and, you know, we're hoping to hear good news soon. A small horse farm just outside Grand Forks was raided by the SPCA after it's alleged they housed emancipated horses that were not cared for. Ten horses were taken from the property and another two had to be put down. Property owner Kevin LaFon says this is not the case and the animals came to the farm in already poor condition. Neighbors, meanwhile, have said the farm has seen upwards of 70 horses on the property with little food and no shelter. The horses in question were, we were looking after with supervision of the local vets. We've had two vet people involved in giving us uh, um, instructions on how to look after these questionable horses. Motorists in Kelowna found out firsthand what we can expect this winter when icy roads led to a slew of accidents around the city. Over a dozen accidents were reported in a single day and a number of hilly roads had to be closed to traffic. Even sanding trucks were faced with difficult situations, leading to at least one city worker who spent time sanding roads the old-fashioned way. If the freezing temperatures weren't enough to remind you that winter is here to stay, the Stewart Park ice rink is now open to the public, and for the first time this year, skate rentals are available. Blades will be set up in front of the skating rink, right beside another vendor, Waffleicious, who is back for a third year. Great venue, great to see the rentals here now. Um, it, it's probably the, the gem of the Okanagan, as far as, well, any city having an outdoor rink at this venue is just incredible. The rink itself will be open every day for free public skating from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. That's it for Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Rogner Hagen. Thanks for watching. Remember to send your tips to news at castanet.net and follow us on Twitter at, at castanetnews.